This program brought to you by Harvey Norman, the electrical specialist, Macell, quality you can taste, and Leonard's Chicken, let's make something special. Hi and welcome to Alive and Cooking. On today's show I've got recipes specifically designed for busy mums. Tasty little treats that are guaranteed to take no time at all. Stick around, it's going to be tasty. Roast chicken. This dish should be at the core of everybody's repertoire as far as I'm concerned. And I'm constantly surprised at how many people say, how do you roast the perfect chicken? Well, the first thing you need to do is buy one from Leonard's. This is a 1.6 kilo chicken, guaranteed fresh. Awesome size. Look at it. It's totally pretty. And this, my quick roast chicken, is a guaranteed way to get a really, really tasty little bird. So I've got a pot of boiling water. I'm just going to slide my whole chicken in and just blanch it. So straight on into the boiling water. You've got to make sure you've got enough so the whole chook gets covered. And then on with the lid. I've been simmering my chicken away for about 15 minutes now. All you want to do is lift him out and slide him onto your baking tray. Be careful, because the cavity will be filled with what is rapidly becoming beautiful chicken stock. Now we want to flavour him up a little bit. So you want a good basting of extra virgin olive oil all over. And then we have my favourite, favourite spice when it comes to roasting a chicken, smoked paprika. This is magnificent. If you give it a light sprinkling, it gets a really, really nice coverage, and you're guaranteed getting that sort of all over golden roasted hue. Now, the next thing I like to do when quick roasting a chicken is grab a lemon, chop it in half, and shove it where the sun don't shine, just up the back of the chicken. What this does is give it a gorgeous little sort of lemony fragrance, just wafting its way through the whole bird. Quick, fresh grind of salt and pepper. And then straight into the oven. Like I said, preset to 230 degrees. This little baby now only needs about 40 minutes. Your chicken work is done now. You can just let it sit there and do its thing. Of course, you need some vegetable accompaniments. I love the way it beeps at me. Some vegetable accompaniments to go with your chicken. My favourite is always just the classic potatoes. I've got four ones here. I'm just going to chop these in half. I've got four carrots, four onions and four cloves of garlic. A nice even spread for a perfect little family of four. This is just really an example. Potatoes straight into what is, like I said before, rapidly becoming a beautiful chicken stock. I will also slide in my whole carrots. And let this come back to the boil. As soon as we've got a rapid, rapid boil going on there, Carrots and potatoes are rapidly boiling. We'll just shut the heat off for a second because I've got to fish them out. I've got a fry pan onto heat with a good splash of extra virgin olive oil. We're now going to turn our blanched carrots and potatoes into roasted carrots and potatoes. And I'm just going to give it a touch of salt and pepper. Just give them a shake. Now we just need to add 
uh, four little onions and four, well, three cloves of garlic. In fact, just the onions. If we roast the garlic off now, it will actually burn. So the garlic is going to go into our stock. The fry pan with veggies goes straight into the oven above the chicken. By the time the chicken's done, the veggies will be perfect. Also, now is when you need to turn this stock back on. Give it another good boiling until it's reduced by half. Speedy roast chicken is looking magnificent. Oh, it's actually been about 45 minutes. Look at that, baby. I'm going to grab the veg too. Now, when it comes to gravy and roast chicken, there's a couple of little tricks. First thing we need to do is get our veggies on our serving platter. Oh, perfect roast potatoes. Then we need to take our chicken. Now, because we shove that lemon where the sun don't shine, there will be some juice inside the chicken. Have a look at this. I'll turn it around for you. This is where you need to be very, very careful to remove that juice because that, again, is pure chicken flavour. So just tip him up, place your chicken on your serving plate. And now, proper old-fashioned gravy, but done really, really quickly. We turn off our stock, we pour it into the roasting tray that the chicken's been in. Now it's already flavoured with those beautiful big lumps of garlic. We'll get the flame underneath. And give this a good old stirring. I am going to thicken the gravy and I'm actually going to just darken it a little bit. I've got just some soy sauce. It's a salt reduced one, so you're not going to change the flavour of your, salt, uh, your gravy too much. We're literally just giving it a touch of colour. Then I've got arrowroot wetted down with water. From go to woe, you have got perfect roast chicken. All up about an hour. creations and your home cooking, together everything just comes together. together. Leonard's Chicken, let's make something special.